What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks. In 2D, we are defending the White City Minas Tirith in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on a patch 2.22 in the remastered, reforged campaign mission. And as you guys know, uh, the BFMB1 campaign, the good campaign was always a great campaign, but it was just too easy. But now it's changed. So we have added a lot of new stuff to the Minas Tirith mission, hopefully you guys will enjoy. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And also, this is going to be released very soon, in about one or two days, and you can give it a shot yourself. It's going to be something else. It's going to be a full different gaming experience, just because the difficulty is so much different. Okay, so we have 450 command points in total. We need to, you know, build a defense and hope for the best if we can hold the line until we can call the Rohirrim reinforcements in about 24 minutes in. Did you hear something? Okay, so we have lots of units up on the field. As you can see, we have like a line of tower guards behind the, behind the gate. And we need to make sure... I mean, the good thing is we have a lot of money in this mission. So we can use the money to get all the buildings up on the field that we, you know, we need. Get the upgrades from the marketplace. And also in the new version, uh, you can demolish the marketplace after purchasing your upgrades. And you can still maintain the Grand Harvest, the, the Iron Ore, and also the Siege Materials. Okay, we can also sell the units we don't want. We don't want those Gonda archers. We want to get actually only the rangers up on the field. Be alert, rangers. Move together. Be watchful. Okay, so now it's time to build some trebuchet on top of the wall. Retreat. Oh yeah, boy. That's a new thing, by the way. That's a new feature we added for the for the mission. Protect the knights with Gandalf. As you can see, they are being hunted by three Nazgûls, just like in the films. And if we easter light one of them, they will flee, just like in the film. So oh my goodness, <laughs> guys, dude, guys, you can't understand how much time consuming this was. And huge shout out to Balindru, our campaign developer. And you can also not, <laughs> you don't believe me, how many times I, you know, played the campaign missions just to make sure. Because obviously, that's the first time we are actually working in a project like this. And also the first time Balindru is working in a project like this. And we are sometimes experiencing a lot of bugs. And they need to be fixed, which causes us to play the missions over and over again. Okay, but uh, we have only 3 minutes and 40 seconds left for the defense, so we need to get ready. We need to get ready to ramble. Okay, the, the thing is, you are not allowed to build the workshop anymore in this mission, so you cannot recruit additional trebuchet. But on an exchange, you have like placed trebuchet from the beginning of the mission in the second wall. Let's get all the upgrades too, um, from three different blacksmiths, so we don't have to waste time. And then we will also... The good thing is now we have three additional Gondonites, and we can, you know, later on use them to kill the enemy catapults. We are command points capped, we have still 10,000 in the bank, but we will lose every single farm outside the second the AI is spawning their huge army, you know? As, you know, Gothmog would like to say, the age of man might indeed be over. The age of the orc will come. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully, we can deny that from happening. Okay, so two minutes left, boys. We are golden, we are good to go. Uh, we can't get any stronger at this point. We have like uh, level 7 Boromir, level 9 Faramir, who is just here to show his quality. Dineto is gonna scream very soon, he's gonna say, Abandon your pose, you know? Flee, flee for your lives. I wanna build a statue there actually on the spot. So this is gonna also buff the archers on the buff the wall. And leadership is very important in this mission. You wanna make sure that your heroes are always giving leadership to your army. This way they will be a bit more tanky and also will be dealing a bit more damage. Okay. Oh boys, wish me luck, wish me luck, that's gonna be a tough one. Oh my goodness, they are coming, they are coming. We have 24 power points, but most of the power points are disabled in this mission, just to make it a bit harder. This was one of the easiest missions actually in the in the campaign. So it was very disappointing for me when I played it for the first time. It was so much easier than the Helm's Deep mission, which also, by the way, is reworked, of course. But it was just so easy. The EOD would be permanent, you know, in this mission. Uh... And most of the time, you wouldn't even need the AOD. You wouldn't even need uh, the Rohirrim army. You could literally win the mission with your archers exclusively because they would, you know, literally one-shot everything they can, uh, which comes close to your, your base. 
But now it's a different story. Hopefully we can pull this off. Hopefully we can we can be victorious at the end of the mission and advance to the next mission. Mordor forces will arrive in exactly 28 seconds. Look at this beautiful white city. For a, for a game which was made in 2004, this city is actually looking dope to me, guys. And one thing I can recommend you guys to do is to save multiple times, but in order to make this a bit more challenging, we are not gonna save any progress in this mission. And the other thing I can recommend you guys is to build a defense already in the second, uh, you know, wall stage. Just because I don't think you can hold the first wall for a long time. And now it's about surviving, 17 minutes and 45 seconds. As you can see, we blocked the movement to this area for the first couple of minutes into the game against cheesers who are gonna try to rush one of the bases. That's not gonna be possible now. <laughs> you need to... You can't cheese anymore in this mission, okay? Okay. And the Gondor Knights are actually very, very good. Uh, they have captured their camps and we need to make... Oh, full towers are coming up too, but we can't. Uh, you see, we can't go inside the jeans, that's not possible. Normally you could cheese them and destroy the camp before it's built up and that would actually, you know, be like a huge handicap for the for the AI. But in order to make it a bit more challenging, we also disabled things like that. Oh, catapults are coming. We need to make sure to kill the catapults though. That's why the Gunner Knights are gonna be very, very good for us. Nice, ooh. And now we gotta build without losing too many of them. Because we lost already one or two battalions, actually. That's kinda. We lost one battalion. They are dying too fast. Because we have no shields on them, you know? We don't have the steeple. And without the steeple, we can't have shields on them. That's not gonna be possible. And now we gotta spam more and more units. So build the well wherever your post and gate is at. And then you don't need to go move. The, the, you, you wanna be efficient with your time, you know? And you see the hero focus from the enemy units. They wanna always kill our units or heroes all the time. And now you can actually possibly enter the enemy castle or camp, but as you can see, there are Nazguls protecting it. So, cheesing is, long story short, not possible anymore. Okay, oh, there comes the Nazgul army, that's what I'm talking about, they will be protecting this area, we need to bait them into the, into the rangers. You see, they are focusing my Gandalf hardcore, man. Stop it! And you see, we have also now a new death animation for the Nazgûls. They don't explode in mid-air anymore. They will actually fall down from the sky. I think this mission got reworked like 10 times. Until until the moment we wanted to get it to, you know? We don't want to make it impossible, but we want to make it definitely uh, challenging. So the player who's playing it, we want to get him sweating, you know? And boys, that's, you know, for the, for the first part, only the good campaign is going to be reworked. But in long terms, we will also rework the evil campaign. What we need from you the most are feedbacks. So once it's released, please make sure, please do me a favor and play the campaign and then give us feedback. Whatever you think has to be improved. Do, do we need a mission to make a bit easier? Or do we need to make any mission harder? Your feedback is very important because we have not many people inside the team and... We can't play missions and campaign from, you know, from the morning until the evening. That's not possible. We don't have that much time either. But, you know, that's why your feedback is very important. Communic trolls, they are highly leveled. Everything is almost level 10. Right now, right. And we are also not able to keep those trebuchet on top of the wall alive for a long time. Many, many runes are coming. But you shall not pass. I'm a servant of the secret fire, wield of the flame of Arnor. Dark fire will not avail you, flame of Udun. Dude, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd, I know, I know. I admit it. Okay, we need to protect the gate, but normally, you know, normally in this mission, the AI will not need the ground anymore. They will break your gate way before this is gonna happen, you know? Look how many catapults. We lose units all the time, that's why you need multiple archer range, because money is not a problem. We have still 40,000 plus. We need to, you know, get more and more units upon the field. Now the siege towers are gonna come. 
You gotta deal with these catapults too. Kill them. Okay, nice so, nice so, nice so. We have 25 power points in the bank. But again, it's, you know, meaningless because we cannot use them. We build the trebuchet. Again, money is not a problem. So even though we will lose them, but it, at least they will actually kind of have to target our catapults. Which will buy us a bit more time. Oh, boys, they are, they are, they are coming, dude. You see, they are entering the Minas City in like few minutes in the, in the game. That was literally impossible. Like... Now you have no firestorm on your trebuchet, which means you have not the DPS you need to kill those siege ladders or the, the siege towers fast enough, right? They will always make it your wall now. <laughs> Look how many catapults, just like in the film, the city is burning. They are shooting from everywhere. You see the flaming shots coming in clutch all the time, and that's the Mina City. I wanna play. That's what I do, boys. That's. This is so satisfying, dude. But it's challenging too. Like, you can't rest, you know? You can't just chill and do nothing. That's legit impossible. You can't do that. So I believe we need to give up the first area. Because... Do not come between the Nazgul and Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. There comes the Nazgul army, boys. And they will be aiming for our catapults. Trebuchet. And we also need to do that to the enemy catapults. Look how many, dude. Look how many! Yes! Dude, that's so cool. Guys, let me know what you think about the difficulty, please, in the comment section down below, dude. That's that's cool, right? Am I right or not? Okay, we need to block this area. Why this area and not the other area? It's simple because this area is, you know, including our uh, citadel, which means... <laughs> yeah, we need, we need to keep the citadel alive in order to be able to rebuild stuff and revive heroes if we lose them. Okay, we need to ride out and meet... Oh, but the, look how many trolls. There is no chance we can keep this gate protected. It's gonna be breaking very, very soon. Okay, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, boys, we are getting overwhelmed. We are getting overwhelmed. <laughs> this is so fiesta. I don't know what to say. This is so fiesta. Okay, we killed an Asgore, that's good. Okay, uh, 10 more minutes. Can we hold it for 10 more minutes? Because we are gonna lose the first area completely very soon. The trolls broken. The gate has been breached. And now let the fiesta begin. Dude, this Minas City is gonna hit you like a truck, boys. Trust me, that one. This is gonna be something else. This is gonna be something absolutely fiesta. <laughs> and, you know, in the comments, I'm always reading all the comments, I saw many, many times that you guys are looking for a challenge, that you guys are looking for something mind-blowing, and hopefully this mission is gonna give you exactly what you are looking for. We have not many units remaining on the field. We have like two armies, but I think we need to kind of group them up together. The catapults are shooting all the time. We have nine minutes only to hold until we can finally call the army from Theoden King. But that's not going to mean we can win with Theoden's army because, yeah, you will see. It's not easy anymore, guys. It's not easy anymore. We must stay together. There is another Nazgul, but Darkfire will not avail you. Because Gandalf is a servant of the Secret Fire. Okay, what is happening to the Nazgul? Oh, 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 look, 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 look. <laughs> he doesn't want to fall into the White City. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> the Nazgul. He's like, I don't know, maybe the wind, you know, the wind kind of blow him away from the location. But we don't want to have a fell beast on the ground, you know what I'm saying, in Minas City. That's a, that's a clean city. We don't want to have any of that stuff in, in here, you know? Dude, and also in this mission, the level 10 orcs, I mean, the orcs generally are a bit stronger. They don't take that much damage anymore. They are kind of hitting like a truck, so don't underestimate them. It's their day. 
and also we made the darkness stronger in this mission. So overall the difficulty, I would say, is eventually 20 times harder than the normal Minas Tirith mission in the battle for Middle Earth 1. Maybe 30 times. Can you, can you look at that please? Like he has siege ladders everywhere. And there are some units clumping actually, we can kinda... I wanna use water power on them. You shall not pass. The Gandalf is such a cool hero too, I like Gandalf so much. Okay. Six minutes, 50 seconds, but... Oh, don't lose it, I will... Three Gondonite, please. I mean, we have only the one Gondonite remaining on the field. I don't want to lose him. We might need him later on. But the catapults are now aiming for the wells. They don't want to give us the chance to regenerate and, you know, recover. <laughs> um, yeah, if you lose the last building inside the inside your Minas Tirith castle, you will lose the mission. And this is not looking very good for us. I mean, we will definitely lose a lot. We will have to hope that this last line of defense... This kind of little magic trick for us. Like I believe the the you know the army from Mordor has there is just too many of them, and that kind of causing them to not you know move properly. The thing is, did you guys watch the film 300, in which the outnumber advantage wouldn't matter that much in a, in a small area? I think that's exactly what's happening in Minas City too. Like we, you see, the enemy is overwhelming us. He has so many more units up on the field, but we are kind of being clumped in one small region in one small corner that the outnumber advantage doesn't really matter that much anymore because we can they can't you know come through all of them at the same time that's not possible okay i mean Gan you see the focus on gandalf the level 10 orc is legit killing my gandalf dude that's unbelievable we, must stay together. we need to make sure to survive with him. We have heal on cooldown, and you can see Alvin Wood is disabled, Cloudbreak is disabled, EOD is disabled, everything is disabled. Stand ready. Don't let them approach. Okay. Um, five more minutes, boys. I mean, the thing is, we can't push back. That's not possible. Uh, we can't leave this area. That's also not possible. We need to hold as long as we can, and hopefully manage to survive with the Rohirrim army too. Because as you guys know, I don't want to spoil too much, but in this mission, you can also expect another reinforcement, you know, besides Tyrion's army. And the another reinforcement is a bit stronger than Tyrion's army too. We must take the fight to them. Keep up the attack. Under attack. Too many of them. Too many of them. Four minutes, 20 seconds. And guys, I also did see another Minas Tirith design map in BFME 1 with like six stages. Like, you, you, you know, in this one you have like two areas, right? You have one at the bottom and then the one at the roof. But there is another one with like six. And uh, maybe in, in long terms we can also manage to make like new custom maps. So for the, for the single player experience, and this is gonna be one of them. You know, the Minas Tirith with like six, seven stages of full defense. We need to, of course, script a lot, code a lot, but I think that's possible. But again, in the future, not for now, but in the future, okay. They are clumped here, for whatever reason, we can blast them. Look, what's my Gandalf doing? Look, 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 Gandalf. <laughs> what is he doing? Gandalf, Gandalf, do it! I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna blast... Dude! Gandalf. But it's okay, because if you don't know when Gandalf dies, <laughs> he comes always a bit stronger. No, I'm joking, but... I hope that uh, nobody saw that. Oh my goodness, man. And yeah, that's not good though. I mean, I lost my most important and most valuable hero for no reason, because I was greedy for a juicy visa blast. And now here we are. I mean, the city is burning, falling into pieces. We need to get a stable up on the field. We need to definitely recruit some more Gondonites to be able to ride out and kill the catapults, because they're annoying. They are outright. Look where they are shooting from. I mean, there are so many of them, you know? They are shooting from downtown, killing all our buildings, and the second they are done with the buildings, guess what? They're gonna focus next. They're gonna focus our heroes and our units. It is Grand. The problem is, they don't even need Grand. And Grand is scripted like this. It is scripted to break your gate. 
But as the Gond came, we lost the gate already. It means Gond has like no job anymore, you know? <laughs> you know? Unemployed. He's looking for a new job to break another gate. Okay, two minutes remaining, boys. Now, let the final countdown begin. The final countdown. Dude, I'm, what's going I'm so hyped. Like, there is so much stuff happening. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, boys. Holy moly. How am I supposed to deal with this army, dude? Crazy stuff. Really, really crazy stuff. The, the trolls are charging in. Level 8 trolls. We have a lot of damage power with Boromi and Farami around. The bottom area is completely gone. And because we lost a lot of eco, uh, we have also money problems now. We need to revive Gandalf, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, originally, when we when we made this for the first time, we made it so when you lose any hero, you would lose the mission. But that was kind of painful experience, though, because you know Pippin would like to die most of the time, and then you lose the mission like after 20 minutes, and it was more annoying than it was challenging. And we don't want to make this you know campaign annoying. And I believe keeping all heroes alive throughout entire missions is really a bit more annoying than it's fun and challenging. So we removed it. I mean, again, the amount of time we change stuff and then change again and change again and change again and test it, test it, test it, test it. I mean, not me all alone, of course, but many, many other people too. It's kind of crazy. I think Balindru invested more than 400 hours time in this mission, in this good campaign so far, which is crazy amount of time. We must move. And as I was talking again, uh, the rams killed the citadel. <laughs> that means we cannot get even Gandalf back on the field anymore. But we have only 5 seconds, boys. Let's count together. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we have the chance to call the mighty army of Theorin. And we're gonna do that after securing this area. And then we can go for it boys okay we can go for it okay that's gonna be quite challenging that's gonna be quite fun and also satisfying at the same time right now right right for ruin and the world's ending okay boys you need to watch now it's lagging too there is just too much happening on my screen look how many of them Theorin, King. The Snazgul can't live that much longer and... Oh, the Mumagirs are already coming too! Okay, look this. This is gonna be so satisfying, dude. Watch this, please. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what I do. That's what I'm talking about. Look, this orc army smash on the ground, just like in the films. That's what you love to see, boys. Holy guacamole. Okay, we need to keep trampling, keep killing stuff as long as the glory... As you can see, the glorious charge is lasting longer because we made it so that you can have this satisfaction for a longer duration in this mission. But now, uh, the Mumakirs are gonna be a different problem. And we also need to find a solution to this massive amount of catapults there. Look how many Mumakirs are coming! This is crazy! The men of the East are approaching, boys! We need to kill also this uh, siege towers, but again, the Mumakirs can climb them. Uh, I think we need to... <laughs> Dude, this is, there are too many catapults! We need to kind of go back a little bit, and then heal up a little bit, and also kill the catapults inside the Minas Tirith, and then we can ride out again with the next glorious charge and do this over and over again. But we need to be careful about the runes, about the soldiers of rune, because they are pikemen, and if you trample them, you will lose all your army. So I think we need to kind of find a solution to these catapults. We need to take them down first before we make, we make anything else. And revive Gandalf once again very soon. Build a well for the recovery, revive Gandalf, and then let's kill everything on this side first of all. Uh, again, we need to be careful to not lose a lot of the Rohirrim army, boys. Okay? And then, <laughs> look how many movement kills. Oh, that's gonna be something else, dude. That's gonna be... The mo they are coming inside the beast too, what the heck? How? They are too thick to pass through the gate. They are cheating. 
Okay, we need to... I mean, we are poor, man. We are poor. We have 3k only in the bank. Like, we need to... We have no money at all. Like, holy guacamole. Dude, they, they, they come non-stop. They have, like, multiple movement kills inside the, inside the army. And also, they have lots of movement kills outside. So, the way this is designed is, like, they are protecting some pathways. So, in this case, they are protecting the outside area. So, you cannot ride through and, you know, destroy the camps. And some of them are gonna follow you also. Look how many of them are protecting, you know? The catapults, trolls are charging in. Oof, 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 oof. I don't know what to say. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's very tough. Now is the hour. Keep these lands safe. A darkness covers our lands. Okay. A lot of them, dude. A lot of them. Okay, boys, it's time. Is it time or is it time? Let's kill the trolls first. The thing is, the AI now is designed to focus down your heroes. Yeah. I just said it. Eowyn, shield maiden of Rohan. I just said it, Eowyn. The problem is there are movement kills. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if I can just ride out like that. I don't know, man. That's crazy, a lot of units. It, this is something else, man. We ride. But let us hunt some Okay. Don't don't hunt don't tell Dane. He don't wanna go back to his son or something, Teodred. He's missing him or whatever. Okay, we need to ride out. Ride out and meet them. For Gondor, for the White City. Dude, the runes are coming through this siege ladders. A lot of them are on top of the on top of the wall. This is the Minas Tirith EA should meet in the first place. This mission should be challenging, this mission should be hard, because it's a it's a defensive mission in which you need to protect yourself. It's not it shouldn't be easy like it was originally, in which you can even ride out and you know destroy everything in one single second. Okay. Um now, what we need to do is we need to kind of get this first area back a little bit with the rangers. We need to wait for Gandalf to come back. And then we can, you know, with the next glorious charge, we can ride out again and destroy eventually one of the camps. I think that's a good idea. But also, we got to keep in mind that there are still more and more than enough movement kills up on the field outside. So, Gandalf is back on the menu. It's good. Let's get him mounted on the shadow facts. And then we need to ride out from this area. We cannot really go through the gate anymore. You see the catapults are aiming for my tier then all the time. That's so annoying. <laughs> but it's, it's you know, it kind of forces the player out of his comfort zone. And he needs to ride out. He needs to micro a lot, a lot to not lose the heroes, you know? Okay, now we can ride out. No problemo. And meet them. Rohan must but our glorious charge is on cooldown, right? Yes. But it's gonna be up very, very soon in about like 20 seconds. Now we gotta be careful about the movement kills because if they step on our heroes, regardless if it's Gandalf or Eoma or Theoden, doesn't matter, they will get one shotted every single time. So we need to make sure to. Oh, they are following us. I was hoping that we are out of the range of them, but they are coming. And you see they are burning. When they are burning like this, they will charge you down. So we gotta move. But with the glorious charge, we cannot get slowed down. I mean the game is slowing down. The engine is too old for the scheme for this many units to be handled in a in a in a mission. But it looks cool, right? It looks cool, that's all it that matters. And it's only one single mission, right? It's, it's it has to be good. We must counter this evil. Prepare for battle! Now is the hour! Set forth! Go with haste! Here! Men of the Riddermark! Okay, I mean... Where are you, Aragorn? Aragorn, I need you! I need you, Aragorn. We need Aragorn back on the menu, boys. Very important and very, very soon. You see, there's like a clumped army, you know, from orcs. They are kind of confused. They don't know what they are doing. But I, I take it because I think... The enemy could be near. When they would come from the beginning of the game, I would have lost this. 
Alright, so we have like this wall under our control once again. There is even more spawning. I think that's gonna happen until the end of the mission. We need to kind of cut their recovery. In, this is only possible if we destroy their camps, you know, very, very soon. Okay, um, <laughs> this is, you know, guys, please let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about this Minas Street mission now? And are you excited about playing it very, very soon too? I'm curious. I hope you guys will enjoy, because we are not making a campaign for ourselves, we are making it for you guys to, you know, give you the chance to have the be best possible experience by playing the campaign of Battle for Middle of 1 in 2022. And if you guys want to support, then you can do that by leaving a like on this video and subscribing, which are both free options for you guys. It doesn't cost you a single cent, but it's, you know, it would help quite a lot, because, you know, why not, you know? <laughs> you like this game, I like you guys, win-win situation. Okay, let's kill this. Catapults. Oh my goodness, look how many uh, moment kills still. Every one, is them, every one of them is also level 10, you know? We need to aim. Oh, do they are charged. They, they don't know what they are doing. They are charging like crazy too. Okay, we need to kind of play it smart though. We need to play it slow. And we don't need to rush anything. Patience is very important. Boromir, don't I? Okay, the moment kills are dying. The rangers are hitting like a truck though. They are hitting like an absolute truck. That's very good. We can fight them. We need to fight around the well. You know, this way we can heal up while we are fighting. You know, that's very important. Okay, Faramir uh, was getting killed. Oof, trolls are coming too. The thing is, about this mission, if you lose your gate one single time, you are not allowed to rebuild it. That's not possible anymore. So we need a bit more farms upon the field, boys. Because we have lost all the eco we got. So we need to be a bit more careful about that situation. We can't even revive Theodium yet. Too expensive. Okay, there is a moment kill protecting the post and it kind of, you see? That's crazy. Too many units, man. Too many units, boys. I mean, Horn of Condor doesn't do anything, though. It won't even stun them. Gandalf! What is happening here? Dude, are we kind of present or... Oh, yeah, boys. Hey, 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 hey. That's what we do. Say hello to my little friends. In this case, the Offbreakers. I summon you to fulfill your destiny. What say you? We fight. Oh yeah. The problem is, as you can see, we have removed the permanent EOD. Normally in this mission, and you would last until this moment, your EOD would be permanently. So you can literally win them, win with them the entire mission. Uh, because nothing can hurt them, right? They are invincible, <laughs> you know. They one shot everything they touch. And we have removed that option. So your EOD isn't permanent anymore. Okay. Oh, but we lost all the rangers, bro. Actually, we are kind of doomed. I'm regretting that the EOD is not permanent anymore. What? They are gone now. And we have only 166 command points. What? Are you kidding me? And we have not much money either. We have lost Gandalf. Well, that's bad though. We have lost Theodin too. We have no glory shot at this, at this point. I wanna, I wanna do something, but I can't. Like, that, we, I don't wanna lose my level 10 Rohirrim Archer now at this point. We might even lose Aragorn at this, you know. It is just too much. Like, I'm poor, I'm broke too. Let's just tell us. Guys, I need to be focused on a bit though. Uh, I was thinking that it's gonna be easy now, <laughs> you know, as I called the Aragorn's army, but it's not easy at all. Like, this mission is far away from being won. Rohirrim! 
Set forth! The battle away! This will be a day to remember! We must defend our Riders country! Riders of the Rinnemark! Right. Theodine, what you doing, Theodine? This Theodine is driving me crazy, bro. I mean, we don't even have the money to revive Gandalf, dude. What the heck is that? This is something else, man. We must be vigilant. Get the return to defend the White City. Back, foul thing. We shall Over here, I need aid. I'm not yet finished here. You are an ugly one. Get away! Follow me! This way! I Run have this one! Now is the hour! Hmm. Rohirrim! Death! Away! Away! Help! The battle away! Fall away! Now is the hour! Away. We need to get money from Eomar's Outlaw Leadership. I think that's the only possible way away. we can handle the situation. Angry dwarf is a Gimli! Dude, even my heroes are dying in a second, man. I, I don't know. Even my heroes are dying in a single second. This difficulty is something else. Bleedsmaster. Uh, the problem is, they are not leaving us any time to recover. And there is like non-stop pressure. Like non-stop. Every second, we don't have any recovery time. We don't have any time to sit back and heal up. That's legit impossible. And we can't even go forward because if we go forward or if we move out, we will lose the full base. And then it doesn't really matter how many units you have on the, on the field. If you lose your last structure, you will automatically lose the mission too. So, with that being said, we have no more reinforcements coming up anytime soon. EOD came, you know, disappeared. Rohirrim army came and almost gone completely. We have lost almost every single one of them. And Theoden is back. Now, with this glorious charge, we gotta make something happen. We need to write them down. Again, the only good thing about the situation is that the glorious charge has a longer duration. It means we can use it one single time and eventually clean up all these orcs, even though there are so many of them. We need also Gandalf back, but he still needs a lot of time. And we also need, I don't know what we need. Maybe I'm gonna build a stable and kinda start recruiting some more Gondonites be a bit more mobile. Look how many of them. This is something else, brother. What the heck is that? I think it's time now for the, for the death and glory. Okay. Now. Right now. Look our money now. Now, at this point, I want you guys to focus on the money. Because we have the pillage from the Elma Outlaw leadership. It means we get money every time we kill enemy units. And look at this. It's gonna... <laughs> look at this money. That's so satisfying, dude. You see the orc lines in, you know, thousands of them, and you write them down. Look, there are still so many coming from the other location, too. Aragon, don't I? Elendil doesn't even work, I don't know why I'm using it. Because they are level 10, they are fear resistant, right? They don't get feared. They can try, you know, hope for the best, but it's not working. Uh, we need to get there with the Rohirrim army very, very soon. Too many, too many units. But the good thing is, we made a lot of money during this time. And we have almost gone back on the menu. That's good. Uh, Boromir might die. With the Rohirrim sound in the background, we're gonna write them down. Okay, Gandalf is back on the menu, boys. That's good. They will not get past me. Keep a watchful eye. They will not get past me. And now Glorious Charge is gone. And you see the production speed of the of the AI. You see how fast they are producing units over and over again. What is that? How am I supposed to deal with this? What the heck is going on? I think they have like a one second production speed. They come, and the thing is, they are coded like that. The orcs spawning out of the orc pit are gonna be level 1, but the second they enter the battlefield, they get level 10. And again, level 10, I've talked about experience and about level advantages in this game so many times. When you are level 10, you can literally win as one single battalion against 10 battalions. That's how strong level 10 is. Each time you get a level, you get a huge power spike in this game. Level advantages means more in BFME 1 than in any other BFME game. Not only for units, but also for heroes, so please keep that in mind.
because you get a huge power spike, damage, armor, health. We will okay, we need to pro stop them from producing, and I think that's the only po the only possible way to do that is actually destroying their kind of orc pits. But we can not let them kill the heroes once again, even though we have money, but we need a bit more time to recover. So we need eventually, there was a juice user plus, we need eventually, like, um, stable to be, to be, you know, at this point it's uh, it's only orcs, right? And when you have to deal with orcs only, I think the best way you can do that is actually getting, you know, uh, some Gondonites or cavalry. You can also make them... Uh, you know, make Gandalf and Farami mounted, and then they can support the army too with additional leadership with armor and combat experience. But we need Theodin back. So without Theodin, the Rohirrim army, they have not the impact they normally would have with the Glorious Charge. So we need Theodin back on the me menu. Okay, we lost Aragorn, Gimli, and also Legolas now. We might even lose G G Gandalf. Like, that is just too much. Too much. Yeah, we lost everything. As long as Eoma and Tudin are alive, I'm, I'm fine. Look at this. What is, what is this, boy? What is, what is this? What is going on? Okay, let's go. It's the enemy! I see the darkness! Push on. I mean, even through Glorious Charge, my Theoden is almost dying. That's how strong these are, are actually in this mission. It's unbelievable. Uh, I've lost Ganoff, but uh, I can't even revive him because I need to revive other stuff first. <laughs> we need to build a stable. We need to reinforce this army of Rohirrim archers with, Rohir with Gondonites. So we have like a um, melee damage. And the thing is, Gondonites are way tankier than Rohirrim archers are. So they can also have the shields for even more resistance against arrows. But again, at this point, it's only about dealing with orcs, right? And we can literally one-shot them every time we have Glorious Charge available. Money is not a problem. We need also Rangers. Boromir is back on the menu, that's good. And uh, Boromir's for Gondor ability only works on infantry though. It doesn't work on cavalry. Okay. Yeah, without Glorious Charge, it's tough. It's very tough without Glorious Charge. They have like too many leaderships also. And our units are slowing down big time. And our heroes are taking for whatever reason crazy amount of damage. We need three Gondonites to get the steeple to level 2, but I think now what we need to do is destroy one of the Orc Pits from this guy. With the Orc Pits, he has like endless production speed. And it's not efficient enough to stay in the base and defend, because you can't defend endlessly, that's not possible. Okay, right now, right for ruin and the world's ending. Damn, you see? That's what I'm talking about, they come and they are level 10 the second they enter the battlefield. I will defend my people. Prepare for battle. Okay, now we also need to destroy these two orc pits. That's gonna give us some room in time to breathe, I think. I hope. Okay, just destroy the last orc pit, please. Look, you see the level up animation when I enter the battle? That's crazy, dude. Oh my goodness, stop it! Like, what is this? Aragorn can't use the EOD yet, we need Gandalf back on the menu, we need more and more Gondonites up on the field too. Gilly, son of Glorin! I feel like my heroes are dying way too quickly against Orcs, it's unbelievable. Let us hunt some Orcs! Here! for the glory of Gondor! Over here! Be gone, mindless beast! I will fight to the end! Let us hunt for some me. orcs! Rally together, knights! Okay, um, we need to wait for the next glorious charge. Then clean this area of the orcs and we can push him back, I think. We ride for the glory of Money is looking good once again, okay. Keep now we can ride one more time. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna lose the citadel once again? I don't know. Um, 
carry the banner for Gondor. Riders of the Mark. I think I need to destroy this orc army first before anything else. Dude, there are so many of them. That's unbelievable. There is also the Grand. Grand is AFK. You know, Grand is like, I'm out of here. I have my job here is done. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to do anything. The, the trolls, they broke through the gate anyway. Okay, now let's clean the city. Fully. The thing is, we have killed the orc pet. It means he shouldn't be able to get any more units up on the field. The line... The last wave has spawned a long time ago, and we need to re-nerf this a little bit. I think it's a little bit too busted, you know, <laughs> the production speed, because if you don't kill the orc pits anytime soon, you can't win this mission. It's gonna be like a loop situation, and we don't want that to happen, right? So you don't wanna, you don't need to stuck in a loop in which you can't do anything else but defending. You don't lose, but you don't win either. We don't wanna, we don't want this to happen. So we need to lower this cooldown or the, the uh, say it, increase the recruit time of the orcs a little bit. To make it a bit more fun and also a bit more balanced but for now it's a little bit too much you know okay we need Gandalf back on the menu but he needs like what 30 more seconds and then again we will need to mount Faramir and Gandalf with the army then they can become much much stronger with Theodin and Eomalidus originally with the glorious charge so we should be in a very good spot and money is not a problem we can now fill the command points with the Gondorites and Rohirrim warriors, we can't recruit. Follow my lead, wretched creatures. I must okay, this is looking good. There is not much red stuff on anymore in the map, and now Ganaf is back. That's good. Let's get him mounted too. And now it's time for us, Mordor, to make it to a deja vu situation from the films to you. But guys. I gotta be honest with you, I've been playing the campaign of battle for Middle Earth 1 multiple times throughout the years, I've been playing now with me actively, and this was by far, from every any mod, any campaign rework I've been playing, this was the hardest one. I mean, this was like non-stop action, from the beginning you have to give up the wall, and that's exactly what I like to see, that's exactly what I wanted to have for the patch 2.22. And I'm so happy with the results, hopefully you guys will also find like a challenge in this one, it's not a walk in the park anymore, you will have to play a bit more smart, you will have to be a bit more on point, micro-wise, macro-wise, in order to pull this off, to not be overwhelmed early on, to lose the mission before you can call your reinforcements. But better this way than it's gonna be when, when you know in rather than having a very easy mission in my opinion you know okay so now we need to just destroy the camps and I think we are good to go 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 Knights of Gondor press on. Let us hunt some old okay, so I think we can Let reclaim this and then destroy this camp first and then destroy the second camp I, and when it comes to destroy the Grunt, it's gonna take some time because Grunt is extremely tanky, we made it even tankier, you know, Grunt, like basically when you play this mission, you have to lose your gate and as you can see there is lots of pressure on your gate now with trolls and rams and stuff like this but if you somehow manage to defend yourself then you should lose your gate the second Grunt comes, you should. I think when you don't lose your git in this mission, this mission is bad and it's boring and it's horrible, right? So you have to lose and we made sure that you will lose your git every single time. Maybe not against trolls, maybe not against the rams, but the second ground comes and touches your git one single time, it will be broken. So it's designed like that. I mean, I know many, many people might disagree with me, they might say, yeah, but uh, guys, this mission is not supposed to be like an easy mission in which you just put your arches on top of the wall and hold forever and ever and ever. You should get overwhelmed after some time. You need to rely on the Rohirrim army. You need to rely on the Offbreaker army. You need to play it smart, play it slow and, you know, do stuff for the victory screen you want to see. And I think... It's a great change we have done for the Minas Tirith one. Let me know once again in the comment section down below what do you think about this mission so far and are you excited about playing it for yourself, you know, in a few days.
ain't gg or plate i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't for forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out <laughs>